Jason Becker is a source of real inspiration for a lot of people. Um, he has overcome so many odds and to be able to do so many things for so many people and to inspire other people that may have the same problems or anything, you know, it's just, I mean, I have goosebumps. <laughs> I mean, you can seriously see goosebumps. Jim Pitts here with BAM Magazine and Zero to Hero Films. We're at the California Theater in historic downtown San Jose for a packed house to see Jason Becker's movie premiere, Not Dead Yet. Jason's inside, the crowd's inside, the lights are down. Let's go check out the action and see what the movie's like. There was nobody better than that dude. He was on another level. When people would hear him, they'd turn their head and go, what the heck was that? But he wouldn't just play a Bach piece. He could set a guitar on his lap and play it that way. Jason was on his way to becoming a really big rock star. He's going to just take over the world. And that's when Jason told us his leg was kind of bothering him. We believe you've got Lou Gehrig's disease and you have three to five years to live. I think his answer was, am I going to be able to tour? Eventually he needed crutches, then a wheelchair. Then it just got to where, you know, he dropped the guitar, he couldn't even hang on to it. That if there was a way to keep making music, he would. His mind frame was, well, no, I just I have stuff to do. So I just have to go do it. And so we created a, a system to allow Jason to be able, using just his chin, sort of one click at a time, to be able to enter in the notes. God, he just kept working. It happened so young, and he just still had a life to live, and he wanted to live it. That's when I invented the sign language for him. Basically, it's an eye geometry. Every letter of the alphabet has two eye movements. I remember I came to his house, and he played this thing for me, and I went, how did you do this? I was just floored. Incredible story, incredibly gifted musician, and it was awesome. The movie was very inspirational. One of the most incredibly powerful movies I've seen in a really long time. Definitely worth it to go and see it in theaters. It moves your heart, really moves your heart. The production was great, the storytelling was great. Everything about it was like really, really good. After the movie premiere, BAM Magazine's own Cat Stevenson had a chance to catch up with Jason Becker at home. Jason's documentary, Not Dead Yet, has actually already picked up two awards, the Jury Award and the audience favorite from the uh, CineQuest Movie Festival. And um, the premiere had to be moved to a bigger venue, and two more shows were added because of the audience demand. How did that make you feel? I, T, it, W, A, it was, G, R, great, I, H, A, have, T, H, E, the, C O the coolest F fans E ever. Okay, I've been taking a poll of people who've seen the movie um, since it came out, and uh, from people who were in the audience and people I've talked to afterwards. And I asked them the same questions, and, and repeatedly I've heard the same thing from them. They say I have to see it again. They just feel like they needed to see it more just to be able to absorb more of it. Um, the movie meant a lot to me because there's there's very limited footage of Jason online um, and just accessible anywhere and it was great to see a lot of hidden footage um, things people haven't seen before and really just the, like the story from from beginning to end just such an amazing talent we just uh, we love the guys so. finally made a documentary about it it's, it's about time we're out here on the sidewalk outside of the Jason Becker movie not dead yet and we happen to have the director, Jesse Vile, with us, who also produced the movie as well. This young filmmaker has a bright future in front of him. Tell us your thoughts on the premiere tonight, how you thought the movie finally looked on the big screen. Was it everything you thought it would be? Yeah, uh, I, I thought it looked great. Um, I was really happy with, with um, the projection, you know, the little technical things. Uh, and I was really, really happy with people's reaction. I mean, I've seen the film now in, in all its various different uh, you know, forms at least a, a hundred times. I'm not even kidding. So now when I watch it, it's, it's, it's tricky to kind of watch, <clears throat> excuse me, watch it from an objective 
point of view. So watching it with an audience kind of was a great thing to do because it was like watching it for the first time, you know, the first time with everyone else. Um, I couldn't have wished for a better premiere. It, it was really great. Jesse couldn't have made it easier for all of us. We kind of fell in love with him instantly, and he's a lot like James in that he likes perfection, very, very proud, and I am happy that the truth got out there and it wasn't a big Hollywood deal with Johnny Depp playing Jason or anything. <laughs> so I think it, it really did tell the story in a truthful way and I was crying and laughing through the whole movie and that's the way our life was. And what was your feeling when you first saw it? I mean, what was your first reaction to it? M, Y, my, F, my first reaction was I, W, I, wished, T, H, there, was, L, I, a little more, M, music in it, B, U, but, S, E, second, but the second time, I, I, W, was, C, concentrating on what A, B, R, what a brilliant man I am. <laughs> Based on the crowd's reaction to certain parts during the movie, are there parts that mean more to you now uh, than meant to you the first time you were doing the cuts? Um, wow, good question. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think I, you know, because we 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 really studied the edit so many, you know, so many times, and just we that we kind of knew exactly what we wanted, and so we lined everything up to say, okay, that's gonna be, a, you know, this is gonna be a laugh point here, uh, but that's because we need to then heighten this sad point over here, and then bring that laughter back. So it was everything worked I think and uh, and that was what's really and some things were really funny that I thought were cute and actually people were loving like you know him as a baby being frustrated I thought people think oh that's just kind of really sweet and cute but people were dying it was, it... <laughs> which kind of leads into the next thing I was gonna say because <laughs> for me when I was watching it because I you know New Year's ago and what was really cool for me is that there's a lot of uh, footage that's like home movie style footage in it and it and which was great because it shows basically how much of a goofball you are. T-H-I, this is Jason Becker. T-H-E, the S-E-X, sexiest M-A, man alive. What are you most proud of? <laughs> M my C O my cock. <laughs> okay, I, all right. W A was, I was kidding. I don't know if I'm proud of much. M O S mostly. J just G R grateful. F for O P opportunity. The opportunities. T O two H E L help. P, E, to help people, A, and S, T, I, still, B, able, to, D, O, do, M, my, uh, my music. That's great. You have a, um, a book coming out, don't you? Yes. I am working with C, a co-writer on an autobiography. I, H, A, have, S, I have, W, R, written, Q, U, I, quite, a lot, already, I, T, it, M, might, come out this year. Mobility, um, you've released four CDs. Um, there was a Perspective, Raspberry Jams, Blackberry Jams, and Collective, with guest appearances from, geez, a litany of people. Is there a new one in the works? I am slowly W O working on a couple D I different things. O N uh, one is M my kid C D W H which 
W I will B M demos I did B E before G E getting W I with shrapnel I T it W I will S it will suck T H though <laughs> S so don't buy it. <laughs>